All right, y'all, let's get into it. We ain't gonna waste some time. I know we had to watch this, bro. This is gonna be insane. Hopefully this C8 keep balance. As long as it keep balance, we should be good. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, hopefully it's not spinning so it can be winning, you know? But anyways, all right, y'all. <laughs> We got car wild. Thanks for the video, man. Let's see. So 1200 horsepower Corvette C8 modifier, honestly, versus Model S Plaid Trappers. You be, Matt, Matt, you be cheap. How you gonna be in the Plaid? All right. It's All between right. a Tesla Model S Plaid and the Chevrolet Corvette C8 that yeah. has been tuned to 1200 like horsepower. Plaid. Well, we're gonna find out because I'm gonna race them. Oh, we got drag, drag radios on the C8. Smart. Mm -hmm. I'd put it all four wheels. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. With a standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson. Smart and you're watching Car Okay. The Tesla lowered. Now, let me tell you about this Tesla Model effective. S Plaid, which has been kindly lent to me by Busy Moto and Unplugged Performance. In terms of actual motors and stuff, it's a normal Model S Plaid. So, three motors, one on the front, two on the rear, combined power output of uh, 1,020 horsepower and 1,420 newton meters of torque. It weighs in at 2.2 tonnes, and in the UK, a Plaid will cost you about 115,000 pounds. Look at that lip on the back. This one, as you can probably see, has been somewhat modified. As well as these racing seats, on the outside it has some aero that has come from Koenigsegg's carbon fiber mm -hmm. division. I'll keep it down on the ground. Maybe that'll help make it a little bit more aerodynamic at higher speed. It's also got a parachute attached to the back. That means it's too fast. That today. <laughs> it's also got new wheels and too fast. new tires fitted to it. Apparently they're very grippy, these Toyo Proxies, and should help it launch perfectly. We're going to find out. Toyo. Find out about that Chevrolet Corvette C8 that's been tuned massively. Let's speak to its driver, <laughs> who Absolutely. is a brave man. It's racing driver, Sam. Hello, Sam. Tell me about your car. Hello, Matt. Welcome to America Land. So we are in... <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Okay. Which one y'all getting? Which one y'all Which one would y'all want to drive? You know what I'm saying? In the race. You got the, the Corvette or the, or the Plaid. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section. In a Corvette C8, but it's a little bit special. This is a 6.2 liter V8 twin turbo. It's got 1200 horsepower, just under 1500 newton meters of torque. Rear wheel drive, eight speed dual clutch, but it's a little bit special. They've done some flashing on the map with that, so it's quite clunky when you put it to gear. 1800 kilos, it's 95 grand stock, and then they put 80,000 into it. And who's the they? It's all very covert, but my contact for this lovely car, who we have to thank, is a very nice man called Victor. You say it's covert, but on the um, rear of the car it says, Piet's Performance. Yeah, they didn't want to talk about that, they wanted to talk about Victor. It doesn't say Victor on it, though. <laughs> details, details. <laughs> also, you seem to gloss over something. I mean, you mentioned it, it was just like in passing. Rear wheel drive. 1200 horsepower rear wheel drive. Just it's just in passing like it didn't bother you. I mean, I've got four-wheel drive, right? This will launch brilliantly. The 1,200 horsepower through the rear wheels. And right. now you've got special tires. Tell me about those. Cool. Maybe they'll help you out. These are from the drag racing type of things. These are radials, they're called. I don't know. It's called alien to me. It was like driving in a beach buggy on sand on stilts in a 1200 horsepower rear wheel drive car. But it's got radials on the back, which I'm used to, I've done that before, and they normally have tires on the front that are normal, but this has got small drag radials on the front. But on top of that, because they're 15 inch wheels, they have to do a brake modification and put these itty bitty little calipers on. Thanks for everything, Matt. It was really nice racing against you. It's been a good couple of years, but um, yeah, we'll see you on the other side. Oh dear. Now, know, if right? you're thinking about changing your car, you can do it through CarWow, right? So you can research your next car using CarWow with all our reviews, and then you can compare offers on whatever cars you're thinking about buying <laughs> to make sure you're paying a fair price for it all through oh, CarWow. Oh. Plus, it's you can also oh, sell your current car through CarWow by uploading some photos, way, giving a brief description, and then dealers all across the country will bid on it in an online auction. Now, the whole thing... Got a car Make sure y'all get the car wrap if you want to sell some cars or buy some cars. All right. I like the little <laughs> at the end. Was that coming from your bottom or your exhausts? I genuinely don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to do my sound check. So, 
right. I'm going. What do I do? I'm going to go in here. One eternity <laughs> later. Entertaining theater, <laughs> arcade, toy box. Oh my! But okay. in a rave, my help. Fucking pinch cheek. Let's get it. Let's do this. Right, let's get it. I'm ready to see it. No way that Corbett's got a hope in help. That's crazy. Dang. Oh, this is just bonkers. Yeah, that's crazy. There's an alien tail right there. That one I just <laughs> the camera barely seen is Blink an eye, you, you probably wouldn't even, you know what I'm saying? He was like, he was like, was that a car? <laughs> that thing was going so fast. He was like, did you see something? Honey, did you see something? <laughs> Ooh, that one too. Hello, how are you? Where have you been? I had a great watch of that car from the back. Just Whoa. off the record, Matt, this was missing in that run. It wasn't a proper run, it was misfiring. Oh. Well, that's now on the record. Um, that's fine, I'll let you go. Do you want to go and speak to Victor? See what he thinks? Just let me know when you're ready to go again, because this will just put in the numbers all day. Well, all day till the battery's gone. But you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And then the battery will be gone and you get to stand in a petrol station eating junk food for an hour while you wait for it to charge. Sounds amazing. Go sort out your misfire. <laughs> and this looks better than your car. And it sounds better than your car. That was a good, that was a good time. Oh. You gotta go through them gears. Like, God, this thing is so insane. It it's just great. goes like, yeah. Never been on that train in Disney World or at the airport. It just, it just goes like, if it wants to start, it's just going. Like, it ain't no all that. It ain't doing all that. How was that for you, Sam? So that was a little bit better. Um, but when I've been talking to Victor and his crew, I think they've only had it and this setup for like 500 miles. So this car is very much in a, a beta phase. So what I'm actually going to do is I don't think the gearbox in auto is ready to do it. So I'm going to shift and I'm going to short shift because there's a delay from first to second. And I'm going to try and mitigate that a little bit. The launch was really good that time. I don't think I'll ever beat you, but I think I can get it closer. Well, let's see. Let's try again. So Sam, um, normally it'd be best two out of three, in which case I've won. However, let's do best three out of five. Be I'm going to give you part. another opportunity. Thank you so much. <laughs> another opportunity to kill yourself. Man, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's gripping. Is it gripping or not? I don't know. I feel like it Ooh, is. Oh, it's got a good start there. Okay, it's gripping. I think that's just the, the dirt that he picks up. Okay. But that car just Sound, You're just not going to do anything, are you? How dare you? That launch is better than yours. Yeah, I know, but it's irrelevant. It certainly isn't. The only bit of skill in this race is the launch. Everything else is done by the computer. The timing is what we're doing, and I won. That's one to me. <laughs> Okay, do another go? Yeah, I want to beat you twice. Say it. Say you launched better than me that time. I did not launch better than you that time. Okay. You were better at launching than me. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. But you still lost. Yeah, that's really fast. Yeah, that's really <laughs> but fast. But do you know what? Do you want one more go? Do you can get closer. So I mean, cars. I can try and stay in the lead a little bit Damn longer, bad, but I'm never going to beat you if that makes that sense. That is crazy. Let's see if you can be in the lead a little bit longer. No, I have to beat him on the launch. I know, do a 50 roll. I will crush him. Crush him. A few minutes later. <laughs> Wait a minute. We have a bit of a development. Uh -oh. It appears that there's quite a bit of oil over the back of that car. I think we'd better find out what's going on. So, Sam, what's happened? He said some 
mechanic-y things. It's basically burning some oil. Uh, okay. And it's bleeding oh, from sure. or losing oil. They're, they're not too worried because they say they're going to take the motor out soon anyway, so they're happy for us to finish it. Okay. So, so do you want to do another race? Yeah, we're good. we've just had a thumbs up. He's good, yeah. Really? So his car is spewing oil out of the back. Yeah. But that's absolutely fine yeah. to do another race. Yeah, and at no point is anyone concerned about me. That's the fun bit, isn't it? But that's fine. I know, <laughs> I know my place. You're totally replaceable. I know, I know. You're, no, you're not. To me, you're irreplaceable, so. so. Do you want to do another drag race? Um, I think it might be more interesting in rolling to see how things go that way. But it's up to you. You're the boss. Uh, do you want to do a, like a rolling, or would you rather just do a, like a third no. gear? I know. Let's let's roll in. Yeah. Keep Jack in the middle, and we'll you set the pace. And when we just get next to Jack, we'll floor it. Do you reckon you're going to be quicker? Probably not. But you know, we're here. Or do you want another drag race to see if you can out launch me again? I would like to out launch you again. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you would. Let's do that. Okay. Hmm. Not that time. Not that time. It's okay, go, 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 go. That car is just fast, man. That's, that's it. I'm gonna uh, put Jack in a Demon 170. Put Jack in a Demon 170 and then go against the plat. Let's see then. Because then he'll have a good muscle car that's like up to date. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, no offense to the Corvette that they built, but it'd be up to date, you feel me? Something that's proper. And a different uh, road, because this over here, look, I don't know. All this, look, look, it's, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know about all of that. Like, it's holes everywhere. You can see all the, look, look at all the mines and everything. I think I'll look, look all the dirt picking up. You know, I need a proper, you know. You got the arrow on it too. So in your desperation to beat me, you massively jumped there. I will not have that. <laughs> Stuart, did I jump the star? I've got bad feeling about this. Did you jump it? Yeah, man. You did jump the star. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so, you see how that thing go? Ah, yeah. He so he won. But look how the, look how the tires that roll. Was. Like, yeah, wow, man. Too. You did jump the star. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> hey. ah, yes, that's so two wins now. That's two victories. <laughs> this will be three all if I get the next one. Okay, new rules. It's not to the quarter mile, it's to the, the meter. First Down meter wins. Correct. What does Vin Diesel say? Family. No idea. It doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, winning is winning. That's twice in a row I have won. <laughs> You've won your own little game. Let's say, okay, two each. Although it's not, it's like not two each, but anyway, let's go one last time. Now, don't get all pressured, Matt, and fluff this, okay? Because cheating twice in a row won't look good. So, I'm trying I'll to do the roll, roll. Do the roll. <laughs> it's just a race. I want to see the roll. To the quarter mile. And that's the thing about this. I could be here all day and I'd still probably win. But yeah, let's, let's just do it. <laughs> Take off. Ah. Oh, win. That was a good takeoff. That was a good takeoff. But why does it lag like that? I mean, like, what do you still got the same amount of horsepower. Like, what's going on? Man? It's up I there, definitely but... won that. Sorry. I won. <laughs> Yeah. What did you say, sorry? Yeah, what I did you won. Say, sorry. won what exactly? I beat you off the line. Probably for the first me. Yeah, good launch. Well, good timing, brilliant. You won. 3 0 to Sam. He won it. He won it all. Oh, Yay. Okay. Let's do the thing. Let's find out what really happened. <laughs> so then, what exactly Let's happened? Tell you what really well, happened. the Tesla won. It completed the standard Obviously. quarter mile in 9.6 seconds. The Chevy took 11 seconds. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, we're going to do a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. First to the cones. 
the two pens. What? What gear are you gonna be in, Sam? All right, third seems good. Okay, you ready? Three, no. two, one, go. I'm gonna switch now. No, James. Okay, so I actually backed off well before the cones there because you were just disappearing into the distance. I nearly both on definitely some good cards though. Just depending on what you're trying to do, definitely. Disappeared into that distance as well. (laughs) You know, well, I was worried about that, so I that's why I just thought, well, I've got this. There's no point, you know, forcing the point home. I want to be able to go home. With that in mind, move on to what could be quite sketchy. What speed do you want to do the brake test from, Sam? 10 to 15, sounds about right. Oh, gosh. I don't know, shall we say 60, 70, but going that way? I mean, let, let's do it at the quarter mile. Let's do 70, okay. So, for that rolling race, what gear were you in? Second? No, no, that was third. I reckon second it was over revving, it wasn't right. I reckon another maybe 60 and third would have been about right, but it wouldn't have changed the outcome. This just would have performed a little bit better. No, it has to over rev. That's how you get the acceleration. So you gotta pop it down, especially as soon as you as soon as you finish. <laughs> you gotta pop it down, man. Oh my gosh, that's why. That's why. As soon as he went, it's just like now you ran. You trying to you trying to press the gas to get it to go up instead of just popping it down. It would have revved up already. Hit that red line, and then when you pop it again, it already been up there seven to eight. Already about to hit the next one. You already in gear. Now you on already on six gear. Now you already popped up. You see what I'm saying? Like he trying to take it down and rev it all the way up. Man, that Tesla gone. Anybody got time for that? <laughs> no, man. That's not how you race. You don't drive the car. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay, oh now we got the brake test from seventy miles an hour. The car is the, the shortest distance. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. Good level, young Samuel. Come on, man. Breaking will be interesting. All right, let's see. Ooh. They put good brakes on that plane. Yeah, I can see from here how skinny your front tires are. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was good, wasn't it? It was sort of was from my point of view because I won that, but I think you were severely handicapped with your front tires, so I'm not that smug about it. Also, through this entire like video, the car has been popping up break over heating warning signs. So <laughs> I think in some ways I, I also lose. Yeah, that's a heavy car going at a massive rate of knots, isn't it? So I think we can forgive the brakes on that poor Tesla. Anyway, I want to say a huge thanks to the people that have lent us these cars. So Busy Moto and Unplugged Performance and Tank Victor, the Corvette C8. Hopefully your engine. We gotta give him a proper car though. We gotta give him the Demon. Demon 170 against the flag. Hey, give him a proper race, right, Matt? Get him in the right car, man. That that thing ain't. Mm, you gotta get a different car. All right, see y'all next one. Like a, like a rival car, you know? Peace. Re, uh, give him a Ramirez. Oh, it, it'll beat that one, huh? What y'all think? Which one is gonna beat it?